Okay, today we're going to take a look at a Kellenberger model 1500U. Uh, this is a universal grinder made by Swiss company Kellenberger. This is the largest uh, between centers, uh, 1500 millimeter. Uh, so this machine is currently wired for 440, 460 volts, three phase. I'm going to go ahead now and start up the hydraulic unit and the grinding spindle. You'll notice that it has two grinding wheels. You have an external grinding wheel and you have the smaller wheel on the right, uh, normally used for face grinding. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you a cycle here. You have a rapid in and out approach with your wheel slide so that you can come in close to your workpiece and then using the hand wheel come up close to your, to your workpiece. You also have a rapid uh, movement where you have a coarser feed. Same with your longitudinal, you have a, a coarse and you have a fine. This main lever here controls the cycle. When it's back, the head goes back. When you come forward, the cycle will start. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you the table moving. Of course, you got your tailstock here, some accessories. It's a three-point steady rest, a two-point steady rest. Uh, this tailstock actually has a fine adjustment built into it. Uh, you have the adjustment of taper with the table. Upper table can swivel, but you also have the ability to make small adjustments right at the tailstock itself. Uh, so <clears throat> let's take a look at the way the machine actually works. In the plunge grinding mode, we shut the table off and we have our automatic in feed down to zero. This knob on top here is your, your dead stop. Okay. You also have a longitudinal end feed where each time we reverse our direction, we will feed. So you see each table pass, we get a feed here. I have it turned up high so you can see it. Uh, you have feeding now on both the left side and the right side reversal. I'm just going to shorten this up a little bit so we can see that. Uh, I can also set it so that it only reverses on the the only infeeds on the headstock side now and not the tailstock side. That's by changing the position of this lever. The actual amount that it feeds uh, is controlled by the knob on top of this lever. I switch it again and now it'll only feed on the, the tailstock side and not the headstock side. Each time you re retract the hand wheel, uh, the, hand, the, hand, the lever here, the headstock goes back, 
and the infeed that you just uh, ground uh, reverses so that uh, for the next piece the hand wheel is already backed up. Uh, there's a hand mode and there's a plunge grinding mode. Also uh, these two valves here are for when you're in your, your table mode. This is your speed of the table. You can slow this down right here. Or speed it up. Now these are tarries. If we, if we wanted to stay after the reversal, I can open these up. And then you'll have a time here that it stays. You just have to adjust them to where you, where you want them. Okay, this, this lever here is a, uh, allows the machine to feed, say you were working on a big shaft and you still had quite a way to go before you were going to actually touch it, you could cheat a little bit by, by using this and coming down until you actually touched. You have a fine feed also built into the hand wheel for fine feed adjustment. Uh, this is a lock. That you can lock the hand wheel when you're in the manual mode. 